today we are fixing the Miata from the aftermath of the burnout. The only thing that went wrong is we broke another wheel stud. So I only have two studs on this wheel, which is no bueno. So I kept it here. And the other thing that went wrong is the coolant hose popped off uh, for the heater core. Yeah, heater core. It just popped off and it pissed coolant everywhere. So other than that, the Miata is unscathed. And uh, it started right up and was fine last night other than pissing coolant everywhere. So we just got a jacket up. Uh, we're gonna show you guys how to replace a wheel stud. We've never done it before, but after a quick lesson from Google and YouTube, I think we can do it. So let's do it. All right, so whenever we took the other lug nut off, I found out the other one is stripped too. So right now we only have one good lug, or one good, uh, my bad, one good stud. And I'm not quite sure how we're gonna take the rotor off yet, but the first step is to take the brake caliper off. And there's two bolts. One right there, and the other one, if I can put my finger right there, is right there. I believe both those are 14 millimeters, so we're going to take those off, and then from there, hopefully we can take the rotor off. Alright. Put that right there. These control arms look pretty healthy. Did you replace those? Replace what? Control arms. No. The no. only thing I replaced is the shock. That's a coilover. Pro tip, guys. Before you try to take the caliper off, make sure the e-brake's off. Disengage. Pro tip. Bro, you should, honestly, you probably should have bought all four. I know. I should have. Look at this one. I'm, re I'm replacing this. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to have three. replace these two first. And that should just slide right off. Well, actually, I would replace this Here, put one. something in there so that brakes, the brake pads don't fall out. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so now that we have the caliper off, the next step is to go ahead and remove the rotor. And there's a handy little trick you can do. If you go in your trunk and you remove the bolt used to get the spare tire screwed in, which is this bolt right here, you can actually screw it into the threaded hole of the rotor and it'll pop it off. Supposedly. Supposedly. But no, I think it's going to work. I thought you had to take... What happened? I think it's coming off. <laughs> I'll keep on going. I thought you had to take this nut off, but... Looks, dude, it's coming right off. I can tell. How do you put it back on? Um, basically, so like how this works, these are attached to the hub. So whenever you put the tire on and you tighten it, it works. <laughs> That's so funny. So whenever you put your wheel on, it tightens everything together. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, I don't think I still gotta go more. Bam. That's so cool. And now we're at the now we're at the hub. Oh, it just presses right here. Dude, we were about to go waste time finding a socket for that. Right here is your studs. So what we're gonna have to do is probably cut a hole right here or something. How are we gonna cut a hole? I suck at hammering. I'm gonna do this one first. I think it's in gear. Well, let me take it out of gear real quick. Oh, never mind. We might be able to get away without cutting a hole. Maybe. This is actually a pretty easy job. I was scared to have to remove the hub. Yeah, see, but I don't know if we'll be able to get the uh, the new one in. You know what I mean? Because that one was, was short. I just bent it back. Okay, this is the only good one right now. Let's keep that. Alright, go on and get this one. Why do I suck at hammering so bad? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that, that's an issue. Yeah. But I keep on hammering it. We gotta bend that. <laughs> that's one way to do it. <laughs> okay, the next one was this one, right? Yep, that's it. Dude, I should have got another one. Fuck my life. <sighs> well, it's really easy. So it is. Do it. I can't yeah. Play. We're just on a time crunch tonight. All right, I'll get the Question new one. Question is, how the fuck we're gonna get it in? Um, so what you do? I'll show you. So we got this part bent back. So the new stud just slides right in, and the next step is to actually get the stud seated because, as you guys can see, if it focuses, there's some space behind it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some random stuff I found laying around uh, to use as washers, and we're just gonna stack them up like that, and we'll use this wrench as well. And then we're gonna take the lug nut. Zach can open it. 
I'm take the log nut and just put it and tighten it right there. We're gonna tighten the lug nut until the whole stud seats. They make these things like really hard to open. So we, we got rid of the wrench and we're just using this little spacer deal. And as you guys can see, every turn I do pulls it pulls the stud farther in. And you just wanna go till it's flush or until it gets really tight. So if the stud is not flush, you will have issues. <laughs> Safety disclaimer. And we just found out that another stud is broken. And only bought two studs. <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, guys, if you have some broken wheel studs, it's not that bad. I thought I was going to have to take the whole hub off, which is a pain in the ass. Because then you have to remove a bunch of bolts that have been there since they left the factory. But this wasn't bad at all, was it, Zach? No, this was this was pretty damn easy. Honestly, okay. this would have taken us probably 30 minutes at the most if we knew what we were doing. All right, Zach, uh, we're gonna ask the subscribers. Right now, there's a guy on Craigslist selling a 92 Miata, has 220,000 miles, has a refreshed engine, new clutch, runs great, uh, completely stock minus a spoiler and an exhaust, and the guy right now is down to trade for the Subaru, and Zach is thinking about it. Clean title. Has a lot of miles, but has less mileage than the Subaru. So, voice your opinions in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. It's a 92 Miata, 220,000 miles. Runs great, refreshed, so. Fucking mosquitoes. Yeah. Well, let's guys know what you think. And I will be running only three studs. All right, guys. So, we're trying to go to our local meet. And with our luck, the hose clamp pops off not even a mile away from the meet. So right now we're on the shoulder and it leaked out, it pissed out all the water once again and we don't have a hose clamp so our friends are going to come and help us Yeah, and it's freezing fucking cold It's not that cold We got the whole crew here, fixing the Miata on the middle of the fucking highway Yeah, down down here Zach's taking one for the team Fuck you Dude, this is, I know this is sketch, don't worry We got, we got yeah, the live bar I'll stand up, I'll stand up I'll stand up, I'll stand up, I'll stand up Cameron don't give a fuck. Oh my god, traffic. Don't worry, I got this. Are you sure? I got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We got the hose clamp on, and now we don't really have proper coolant, so we're just using a mixture of Fiji, which is really expensive, Kroger, and some actual coolant. And Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. But Cole only uses expensive shit. How close is it? Uh, right there. Oh, it's close to shit. Okay. All right. Cold. Thank you to all of y'all. <laughs> all right, so we're out here at the meet. Notice, notice. what happened? We did the burnout with the leaf blower, dude. We challenged Highway Garage to a burnout contest, so we had to put a leaf blower on it. It actually helped. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, Monday. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everyone's coming. Yeah.